Hello, Jacob and Jeremy. I saw that you played Streets of Rage, the original. And uh, of course, being the fan of the series, I decided to have a little look. And I saw that you did pretty well. Despite using up all of your continues and, well, losing, you did manage to get to pretty much the very end of the game. Which is good, because the original isn't very easy. Uh, mostly because of the controls, they're kinda whacked when comparing to the other games. So, in order to, well, pitch in on that, I guess, make it more interesting, I guess, I'm gonna do a thing here. I'm going to beat Streets of Rage, the original, in Streets of Rage Remake, because it's a thing, you can do that, with different characters, of course, for each stage, on the hardest available difficulty, known as Mania Mode. It's called Mania for a good reason, because, well, most of it you'll see for yourself, but let's just say it doesn't only involve increasing the health of the enemies. Oh no. And naturally, I'm not gonna speak all over that, because I wanna be focused while I'm trying to survive. Hopefully everything will go fine. If not, tough shit. I hope that this will be an inspiration for you to try out Streets of Rage Remake, because it's definitely worth a try. Plus, it supports two players and controllers. What the fuck? You gotta try it out. The only downside is that it's on the PCs, as far as I'm aware, so... You'll have to sort that out somehow, by yourselves. But anyway... For all the other viewers out there, the same applies to you as well. Eight stages, eight different characters. On Mania mode. Let's see how this goes. I'm Halder Richards.